All right, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to pull the post ID. Now, you may need the post ID, whether it's a video or a text post or image, whatever, for various reasons. The most common reason is to boost a specific post. And sometimes you don't always have the boost button available or just there's reasons why it's hard to figure that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the easiest way to pull the post ID, uh, at least in the modern UI here. Now. They've made it really easy. You just have to know exactly where to go. So when we're sitting here in the business manager here, you're going to want to, and I'm just, uh, I'm in the business settings here. I just wanted to get to a neutral page here. You're going to want to go to the hamburger menu up here, and then you're going to expand this full menu in here. If you've never done that, this is the full menu of what's available. And they've got it broken down by sections. And so at the bottom, with the engaging of the customers, at least for right now, there's this page posts section. And really this is a, a content management part of the system where we can look at the specific page posts, we can look at posts that are scheduled, we can look at posts that were made in ads. Um, which actually we'll go ahead and talk about this ad post and something cool that you can do here. So for example, if we wanted to boost this specific video here of a fun little animation that we did here. Uh, we posted this on our page, it's public, and we want to boost this specific one here. Now, of course, I could boost this here, but maybe I want to do something a little fancier with the advertising. So up here is the post ID. And there you go. You can go ahead and copy that and then paste that into the ad platform, and that is the exact specific post. And then it guarantees that when people react and comment and share, all that social proof is going to be public. So that's another reason you may want to go ahead and grab the post ID. So the same thing exists also for scheduled posts. So if there's anything that is scheduled, they have the ID right here. And now you'll notice that the ID isn't showing if it's been scheduled here. Uh, you do have to go ahead and grab it from here. And then for the ad posts, the cool thing is that this could be argued as, as a, a quote, dark post, meaning that it never went public. Only people that got the ads saw it. Well, let's just say for some reason it got a lot of engagement or behavior. In fact, I can't think of, uh, did we get any likes or comments or anything like that? Uh, we didn't. Okay, let's say this did. On this actions menu, I could actually go ahead and publish this publicly to the page. And then again, any of the social proof and comments, things like that, are gonna go ahead and come along with it. And uh, that is how not only do you find a post ID, that's how you find it for scheduled posts, if you wanna go ahead and schedule boosts ahead of time. And then how you can take an ad post, a, a dark post as people sometimes call it, and publish it publicly.